I've got here the Renogy 3000 watt inverter and it's going to be very similar on the 2000 watt inverter. Uh, this is a 12 volt version and I want to show you guys where the neutral and ground is bonded inside the unit. The, the neutral and ground is bonded because in the situation where this was used in say like an RV or a bus, because it's an AC power source, you would have the neutral and ground bonded together. But in the event that you're using this in a home that is connected to a transfer switch or panels that is also got the neutral and ground bonded, the GFCI circuit in this unit is going to detect a fault and it's going to, the instant you connect to the ground to these AC, the AC outlets, or if you connect the ground even to the uh, chassis ground, it's going to throw a GFCI fault because you can't have it grounded in both places, uh, bonded in both places. So what I want to do is I just want to show you guys inside the pan, inside behind this panel where that occurs and we'll talk about it a little bit. You got six screws that you got to take out, just these six. And you might have to take out a couple on these brackets here to get this panel to lift past the brackets. Or you can just take the brackets off if you want to. There's going to be a little fan on the inside here. You want to disconnect that little fan. And off to the right here, you can see we've got neutral, hot, and ground. I'm going to try to get in there so you can see a little better. There would be caulk on this covering this so you can't see it until you scrape the caulk away now you can see that tiny little wire that jumps between the ground and the neutral that tiny little wire is the bonding strip and again you're not really going to be able to see that unless you get in there and scrape away some of that caulk now that bonding strip, as you can see, I snipped it and I bent those wires away from each other so that neutral and ground are no longer bonded. And I confirmed that with a multimeter using the continuity test. Um, so basically, I'm not saying that I recommend you to do that, but it's uh, one way that you be, it's, it's either that or you would have to go with no ground wire and not ground the chassis, which to me seems dangerous. Um, some inverters will have automatic switching that will either bond that or unbond it depending on the situation and that would have been probably the best way to go but you can't have it all so another thing i want to show you guys while we're in here that uh, this set here this is the hot and neutral wires and they are wrapped up with this device with a little tiny red wire coming off of it right here and basically what that is i just plugged it back in it's measuring any current difference between the hot and neutral and it's connected to the GFCI circuit so this should always measure zero because it's clamped on the pot on the on the both directions that the current is flowing so if there's any difference between those two it's going to assume there was some kind of a current leakage and for personnel protection it's going to disconnect that load so that can some in some cases that can lead to nuisance tripping and I'm not suggesting that anybody do this, but you could disconnect that circuit. If you disconnected that circuit, you would uh, you would no longer have this device reporting anything to the board. So you basically would no longer have GFCI personnel protection, which of course, depending on the circumstance, you may or may not want. All right, guys, if you have any comments, questions, please post them. Thanks for watching.